going on freight dispatchers this is your favorite freight dispatch trainer Antoine West coming back at you with another video if you're not subscribed to the channel yet make sure you like subscribe and comment go visit my website AntoineWest.biz if you're interested in freight dispatch trainings I'm gonna tell you guys something too in any of my trainings that I make up I take my knowledge I take where I almost fell in business and I put that into the training to teach you the success so I'm using my failures to teach you success so your business won't have to go through a lot of the same problems that my business went through. Check out my newest course, my six week dispatch and mentorship program. During that course, I'm going to I'm having six weeks and during those six weeks, I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about dispatching from beginning to end. Everything, the full process, how to get clients, how to book loads, how to book the highest paying loads, how to network with brokers, how to book oversized loads, how to grow your company. I grew my company from zero to $20,000 in two months, two months. But the thing is about me, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. During my first month, I was about to fail. I didn't think I was gonna make it in this business. I know a lot of you guys don't think you're going to make it in this business. So that's why I put out videos here on YouTube. That's why I, why I take out time from my life and make up training programs to teach you guys how to be successful. And this newest six week dispatch and mentorship program, you can get started with only $50. $50 today gets you started. And I'm telling you, I have millions and millions of dollars worth of information packed in this training you know like i said my first month i was about to fail my second month i was making twenty thousand dollars in my business all this all changed within 30 days you know and i want you guys to know your business can change too you know if you're in a position in life and you're not making the money that you want to make that can change but you have to believe it your belief your business is ran off your thoughts is ran off your beliefs so if you put a very high belief on your mind that's going to generate you cash flow you know the bigger idea you put on your mind the bigger manifestation you put on your mind about your business the more money you will make so I want to tell you guys why uh, how I went from almost failing and not having any clients my first month to having twenty thousand dollars per month after that so this is why because this is the same thing a lot of you guys are doing and I'm giving you guys this knowledge because I know how the economy is right now I know how a lot of people's money is right now and I know knowledge builds wealth so what I'm going to do now and in the upcoming weeks I'm going to keep pushing pushing and pushing more knowledge to you guys that's able to build you wealth you know so this is why I almost failed my first month because my first month of business this is why I almost failed my first month because my first month of business, I didn't know how to be a salesperson. I didn't know how to recruit clients. I knew nothing about it. And I was doing the same thing a lot of you guys are doing. I'm just making, I was just making posts on social media. I was talking to people. And when I make those posts or talk to people, I was saying, hey, I have high paying loads. Basically come sign up with me. Or hey, I own a dispatch company. Basically come sign up with me. You know, this isn't enough. You guys got to start giving more energy. You know, I was having a, a hard time finding clients. You know, I talked to people. I did cold calls. You know, I made posts on social media. I made posts in groups on Facebook, but there wasn't that much traction, you know? And being honest with you guys, I started to feel bad because I wanted this to be a success. You know, I started to not feel like myself. You know, when I first got in, that first month when I first got into this business, I was happy about it. Felt like I could get clients. I felt like this was the business of, that was going to take me out my full-time job and going to start creating general, generational wealth for my family. But once I got into the business and I couldn't find any clients, I started to feel bad. I felt like I was going to have to go back and work a job. You know, that, that, that feeling, it just didn't do a lot for me. Because I tell you guys, ever since I was a kid, Ever since I was in school, even in elementary school, I never cared about having a job. I never wanted a job. What I want to do, I want to create jobs for other people. I want to be the person that thinks of ideas and then works on those ideas and I put them into the world and it's able 
to give other people jobs, is able to generate other people's cash flow. I never wanted a job. I'm a job creator. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business person at the heart of it. You know, I love manifesting businesses. I love going into the market. This is what I do. This is how I became rich. This is how I became wealthy. This is how I got clients. This is how I changed my business in the second month of business. So what I did, I took a look at the trucking industry. Basically, I went into the market. I seen everything that was going on. And then I found a problem. That's why I call a FMP. I found a fundamental marketplace problem. And the FMP in trucking is that a lot of owner operators, a lot of trucking business owners come into this game and they don't have any knowledge about the business and their company fails. So I spotted that in my second month of business. I spotted the perfect FMP, fundamental marketplace problem. A lot of you guys, when you spot an FMP, like high fuel prices, what do you do? You run around, you know? You let that thought get on your mind that now isn't the right time to start my business. Hey, look, I'm an entrepreneur. I live for FMPs, because FMPs make you rich. FMPs will make you a millionaire. So when you, any market, it can be real estate, trucking, it doesn't matter. When you spot an FMP, when you spot a fundamental marketplace problem, I suggest you come up with a solution and you execute on it. So that's what I did. The first month of business, I was just like the regular dispatchers. You know, saying I have the highest paying loads, the highest dollar paying loads. But my second month of business, what I did is I went in, I learned everything about the trucking industry. And then I started to market that knowledge. I started to present owner operators with their problems before their problems came to them. I went in the industry and I seen the problems that most owner operators have. And then I switched up my marketing. I started marketing and basically explaining the problems to the owner operators. So I would explain, you know, not being able to book high dollar loads and what you can do as a solution. You know, I would give part of my solution away, but in my mind, I have a much bigger solution that's able to generate you more and more cash flow. So what I do, I use business intuition. I present problems to my customers before they occur in my customer's business. That's what you have to do. That's what a good business person does. A good business person looks into the future and sees the problems that might be coming to a trucking business. You see the problems that might be coming to your owner operators because it has came to other owner operators and you see your owner operator going down the same course and then you implement solutions to solve that problem before the problem comes. And that's how you can get a lot of clients. That's how they'll stick around with you because they see the problems going on with every other business, but they don't have those problems because they listen to you, a good freight dispatcher. You no, know, this isn't about business. You know, this is about business. Most people fail in freight dispatching because they're just concentrated on the problem. But a good business person, a good entrepreneur, they concentrate their attention on the solution. Hey, so check it out. During my six week course, you guys are going to get the full information. I'm not leaving anything out. Everything that you might believe you need to know when it comes to dispatching, I want to teach you all of that and more. One of the main problems why a lot of people fail in this business is because they concentrate on dispatching, on the load boards, on booking loads, on negotiating with brokers. But what they don't concentrate on is marketing, sales, customer service, all the things that actually build a business. Forget the freight dispatch process. I'm gonna teach you that quickly in my training. But what I'm gonna go over to you is marketing. How to market your customer, how to market your company, how to give your company what I call a unique value proposition, a UVP. Every company needs a unique value proposition, something that makes your company unique next to the other businesses. You might see, with anything I do, when I was just dispatching loads, selling training courses to people, running my Airbnb, any business that I get into, I'm different. I don't try to be like anybody else. I'm not like anybody else. I never tried to fit in with anybody in my life. 
And that's what makes me a lot of cash flow because my business is different. I'm not following anybody else. I'm putting out real, actual information. You know, factual information. Sales, sales, during my first month. Let's talk about sales. Let's talk about how I became a good salesperson. During my first month, my thoughts were, I can't do this. You know, I, I don't know where to find clients. It's like all this other crap. During my second month, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. So, how I started to get clients, I started to believe I could get clients. You know, I went within my own mind and I pictured myself with plenty of clients and my clients being happy to work with me. So I changed my assumption. Yes, I use, I use laws of the universe in my business. In everything I do, I use the laws of the universe. So the law of assumption, that your assumptions become true. So stop assuming that you don't have any clients. Start assuming that you have more clients than you can handle and that you will need to hire another dispatcher to help you out. So I started assuming that. I started to assume, I put my faith in that I can get unlimited numbers of clients. I put my faith in that. And when I put my faith in that, I started to give away my value. I got in Facebook, I got on Facebook. Any information I had about the trucking industry, I just started putting it out there. You know, owner operators start realizing I got some real knowledge that they don't even have. And they're in a the truck and I'm claiming just to be a dispatcher. So I tell you what, you know, all the talk, you guys might hear some talk about dispatchers, about we don't do anything. We just find loads. Let me tell you, I started as a dispatcher and then I went on to own my own trucking company. Then I went on to start my own brokerage firms. So. I, I don't let that talk get to me, you know, because I do everything in this industry now, but I start off just as a dispatcher. And starting off as a dispatcher, it taught me a lot of things. I was able to go in, on, in owner operators' companies and see the problems that they had in their companies and come up with solutions to fix them. And in my six week program, like I said, this is a six week program. I'm going to give you all the training. It's going to be six weeks of training. And then after that, it's going to be monthly mentorship. I'm going to give you guys the latest and greatest information that I have about the industry. So that's another reason why a lot of you guys are failing in dispatching because the industry is always becoming more advanced. It's always becoming updated. And you have to always make updates within your business to stay relevant. And when you stay relevant, what happens? You get cash flow. If you're not relevant, your cash flow is going to slow down. You know, but you want to increase your cash flow. I'm all about cash flow. Cash flow is the very blood of your business. Without cash flow, you have nothing. And what I want to tell you is cash flow comes from your own value. You notice in my first month of business, I wasn't given much value. In my second month, I said, everything I got within me, I'm giving out because I don't want to go back to that job. I want to work for myself. I want to be here with my kids. You know, I don't want to have to go into a job and work all day and then I'm tired when I get home to my kids. And this is because of deeper purpose because I didn't have my dad growing up. And I always promised that I would be a good father and I want to be around my kids. So what that did was inspire me to give all the knowledge I have to my owner operators. You know, you always be led off of so you always need to be led off a of purpose in your business. Have a higher purpose in your mind. And then when those little things that come up in your business, when they come up, if you let off a higher purpose, you're a smash right through them. Believe me. If you guys need anything, go to my website, AntoineWest.biz. You can also click below this video in the details to sign up for that six-week advanced dispatch and mentorship program by clicking the link. You only got to pay $50 to sign up today.